I am gonna talk with my psychologist today. And he told me he's very proud of me for setting healthy boundaries. He's impressed. I said, I, I ask many people to stop sending me this stuff. I asked nicely. I also talked to Kenny's psychologist today. So I'm just going to do, the, I'm going to read the language of letting go about being directness. need some time to process and think I'm perfectly okay over here I told him I'm, I'm exhausted how hard it is sometimes to set and keep healthy boundaries with everyone for my peace of mind he said, if people can't accept that, as a matter of fact, we talked about uh, how we rattle. Some of us just want heard. And sometimes we talk really fast. And we talk a lot. And he said, why is it that, I said, it's not mania, Ben. I said, it's not bipolar. I said, this is trauma, severe trauma. Rejection by our own families, our own parents. I got that man in Nevada jealous because I can go see his mother and he can't. And she laughs about it. She gets a kick out of it. And it's sickening to me. And the daughter is oh so mean. I give all your toxic shit back to you. I pick up my mat every single day and I do my work. I don't want to hear I can't from anybody. I have empathy, but I'm not giving you pity. My victim broke. So it's really, really hard to be sympathetic. A lot of our stuff we did to ourselves. Most of it. We took the medications from the doctors. We trusted the wrong people. We need to take accountability. When somebody says, you hurt me, we don't get to decide or make excuses for our wrong decisions and our wrong behavior. My psychologist agrees that I need closure and I need to get my dog Myself, my healer told me that last summer, earlier. Yeah, she said, just go get your dog. So I will. I've got the paperwork. I've got all of it. The birth certificates and stuff from the lucky puppy. And the woman who gave her to me, I can bring her with me. So... August 12th, please God make my ups longer than my downs. Thank you, hallelujah. Rise up every time. I jump out of bed because my dreams won't leave me alone. It's like there's communication in the astral plane. <clears throat> the language of letting go, August 12th. Direct people are a joy to be around. We never have to guess what they're really thinking or feeling because they're honest about their thoughts and openly express their feelings. We never have to wonder if they're with us because they want to be or if they're there out of guilt and obligation. When they do something for us, we don't have to worry about whether they'll end up resenting us because direct people generally do things to please themselves. Seek things to keep my heart rate right. Seek things for peace and healing and walking to my healing waters. Away from all that stuff. I've been teaching this for a year. 
So pardon me if I get a little frustrated and exhausted and overwhelmed. My psychologist said it's compassion fatigue. There's a thin line between codependency. I got this quote that says, in every day, the world is going to tell you, watch this, come here, do this, do that, you need to do this. No, I don't. Don't tell me what I need to do. Please. I've asked so kindly for so long. And my psychologist said, block them if they can't hear. Their ears are blocked. What we have right now is like, everybody wanting to talk at the same time. And I want to put my headphones on and shut my phone off is what I want to do. I'm, I'm okay. I'll always be okay. I just need my space to heal. My time and space. We don't have to fuss about the status of our relationship. Because if we ask, they'll tell us. We don't have to worry if they're angry. Because they deal openly with their anger and resolve it quickly. I do it in the form of hard rock, jumping, high intensity interval training. Bit up a pillow if you want to. But don't project all your junk on other people. I don't want to always do that. And I'm not focusing on my stuff. And I don't like to talk on the phone. I really wish people would understand that too. I just, I don't. I'm sorry. I give and give and give and bring hope until I'm exhausted. My psychologist asked why I think it is that we rattle on and on and on and on and on. And we just want to be heard. And we have to explain every single thing. I do it too. He, do, he stops me. And says, stop, Heather. Take a breath. We're right here right now. I said, you're right. Everything in the past that happened along the way to hurt me. When I say, you hurt me to people. I forgive all that. Anything. But today, currently, I'm still being told my dog is unsafe for travel. I'm still being told all of this lies and that my dog's better off. I've heard from the mother and that it's God's will from the sister. And no, it's not. This is all his will. And he's keeping her to punish me because I left him. And then they both won't go help their mother. So I asked them to help their mother. And she rejects them. Told them not to come for Thanksgiving or Christmas. And then laughs because he gets hurt. Because I can go over there and he can't. And that's sick and twisted. And I'm playing this game. We don't have to ponder whether they're talking about us behind our backs. Because if they have something to say, it will be said to us directly. Amen. A hey, women. I will tell you that you are wrong to your mother right now. And I will tell you you're being wrong to your children. I will stick up for all of you. And if you don't like what I have to say, please don't listen to my channel. <clears throat> Absolutely. We don't have to wonder if we can rely on them because direct people are trustworthy. Wouldn't it be nice if all of us were all direct? If all of us were? No filter. So today we will let go of our notions that it is somehow good or desirable to be indirect. Instead, I will strive for honesty, directness, and clarity in my communication. I will try to keep it short and sweet. I will let directness in my relationships begin with me. Lots of people are in situations they hate. Standing in a place you hate, varicose veins. I was jumping in the prison cell, all right? I know of that. Standing in a place you hate. Running in circles and going nowhere. Despite all my rage, I'm still just a rod in a cage. Literally. It's in your mind. Your freedom is a state of mind. What you focus on is your reality. 
You want to believe in adrenochrome and all that and simulation and all this fear-based stuff? You go right ahead. I'm not joining you. Don't invite me again, please. Alanis Morissette. Uninvited. Uh, I will politely hand everything back to everyone. I'm not taking on everybody. See, I've got way too many people now that I talk to outside of here in text. And today I was on the phone too much. And I didn't even tend to my things that I needed to do. So, I can say what I need to say and go about my business. And you can send me an email if I need, if, if I want to talk. I don't want to talk on the phone or really to anybody right now. I just had a, having your child admitted and telling the therapist the things your child is doing and planning and jumping around with the machete and me not reacting. It's the hardest things I've ever done in my life, okay? So I'm doing the things that make me feel good. And if that means shutting my phone off for days, I'll do it. And I'll deliver my messages. I have severe trauma and I get overwhelmed with all this uh, all this fear, for one. I've been teaching this for a year. Look at the first video I did, August 3rd, 2019. Love versus fear. So, August 12th, I am faith-filled and fear-free because I cannot lose when I play life by the rules. Now, Steph just keeps swimming. There are rules in life. There are laws, universal laws. Laws of karma, laws of vibration. It's all energy. In a sermon, Dr. Barbara King of Hillside Chapel in Atlanta, Georgia said, You are on the playing court of life. Hopefully, you have come to win. She was saying you cannot go through life wondering whose game you are playing. Ooh, we. By what rules you're playing or whether or not you're equipped to play. And if you remember everything you said and you say it with truth, then you won't have to make up a different story every time you go. Liars must have very good memories. They have to remember what story they're told to who. It's better to just speak the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. You're fooling yourself, not me. Lies by omission are still lies. When you arrive on any of life's playing fields, you must have come to win. At the same time, you must accept the fact that there will be fouls thrown your way that you may occasionally strike out. Strikes and fouls do not mean you will lose the game. They mean you must remain alert. Fouls and strikes indicate that there are others on the field with the same thing in mind, winning. Do not be surprised if you get pushed, kicked, or tackled. Do not be upset if you have to lose a point here or there. Don't even get upset if you get knocked down or fall, right? Get back up. Keep getting up or you stay down. The choice is yours. Remember, the rules of life do not change. But some people think they can avoid by playing the rules. No, know that everyone on the playing field has the same skills and the same opportunities. How they use their skills and approach the opportunities are a reflection of their knowledge of the rules, depending on what we were taught. Did our parents program with us with fear? Minded and rejection. The prodigy, uh, the prodigal child. I didn't even get an inheritance. I lost everything. They cannot strike you out unless you... You allow them to unless we allow them to. They cannot beat you down unless we allow them to. And no one can win what you have come to win. The rules of the game of life are quite simple. Always tell the truth. Your truth from your perception isn't going to be what they see and what they remember. Never live in fear of anything or anyone. Hallelujah. Be conscious of what you are thinking. So you can always think positive. Positive and healthy channel. 
motivational speaker. Focus on goodness. Focus on your own healing. Leave the rest. If the shoe fits, rock that bitch. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Do everything that you do for the love of doing it. Not for the love of money. Not for the love of humanity. Not for the love of anything. But because we love it. It's what sets our heart on fire. I almost became a hairstylist. I would have been standing somewhere I hated. Because my passion is psychology. And healing humanity. I'm doing what I love. I spent my stimulus on things to heal me and many others. I bought my own herbs. I didn't buy all the things I don't need. None of that. I could just shut this laptop. It's shut for days. It doesn't even need to be on. Now that I'm not live streaming. If you devote yourself, your time, and your energy to the follow... To following these rules, have no doubt, you cannot lose. Until today, you may have believed that you had to cheat, cut corners, compete with others, lie, in order to win at the game of life. You can be a winner at the game of life. Just for today, try following the rules. Quit watching all that stuff. Or we can sit there and say the whole system sucks and we can blame it on God and we can blame it on Jesus and we can blame it on everybody else. And I'll stay stuck in my bed too. The injustice system has fucked me over for life, okay? I throw my hands up and I stand in faith knowing something better is coming. But I don't have to know when. Because God's timing isn't mine. And that's addict mentality. I want what I want, what I want it now. When I'm not feeling my best, I ask myself, what are you going to do about it? So today we are devoted by to playing life by the rules in order to win. And if we think that we have ruined God's plan for our life, and you think God plans for us to be sitting there, I'd like to get off the government disability check and make my own way. And it's going to happen very soon because it's coming. The justice card won't leave me alone. I don't need to watch. And it ain't going to be no false leaders. I was warned about all these people. I'm not going down those rabbit holes anymore. And I've asked kindly for people to stop, stop, stop. Sending me all that stuff. So, just uh, be aware of things. But we don't need to spread fear. We don't need to spread worry. This is psychological spiritual warfare. Do people not understand that? Mind control. You can call it entertainment if you want to. It's like a tropical astrologer finding out about the 13th sign. They don't want it. It's cognitive dissonance. Imagine if you put 50 years into studying tropical astrology only to find out it's wrong. Kind of like getting a Taurus tattoo on your foot because you thought you were a Taurus. And her like hell on top of them veins and no meat on the top of your foot. But it is what it is. And thank God it's my Venus is still in Taurus, right? Accepting. So that's it. I love you all so much. I thank you for your likes. I thank you for your shares. I thank everybody who has subscribed and stuck it through. Through my rise and fall. It's not always a pretty story. It's not always rainbows and butterflies and unicorns. I do keep leaving comments below with links. I have to go back and listen to what I said I was going to leave a link to. So the archetypes. Young and young. Young and archetypes. And the archetypes according to Carolyn Mace. Why people don't heal and how they can. I put the archetypes below. False beliefs we hold on to. They're behavioral disorders. My kids are going to go to a behavioral therapy place. So. 
not to his piece. Adidas so much. Uh, and, oh, the ordinary people's way of global cooperative order. When there's chaos going on. Right? Codependent no more. I highly advise everybody to read that. Everybody that spends all of their time and their energy. Any time and energy. Researching low vibrational. Trying to figure out what COVID is. Or the stimulus checks. Or what Donald Trump's doing. Or if POTUS is telling lies or QAnon. Know that these people are paid to promote fear propaganda. It's election year. It's all to get everybody hating each other. Create chaos, confusion, and fear is the works of the enemy. There's me. Hi, in my little rocking chair. Where's my little baby? My child's name is Kayla. Eight twenty one two thousand three kindergarten. We're going to heal. Oh, little baby. Yes, we are. A mother's journey through hail and back. It's called come back. I'll put the link for that too. Come back in, in, the, in the theory. A mother's and daughter's journey through hail and back. So the hardest things I'm having to do right now are coming. And I just want everybody to know I'm okay. And I just want some me time. So I can not have to answer to anybody. Saying, oh my God, watch this. No. No, I don't want to. I want to put my headphones on and, and shh. I can't. I'm asking for some time and space and closure. That's all I'm asking for is peace. Disturbing my peace. And then I get a little frustrated when I have to ask more and more again. And I'm going to ask one more time. Please don't send me voice clips to my text. Please, everyone. Please, 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 please. Do not send me text. Voice clips. Anymore. No one. If you can't type it, then it can wait. <laughs> Send me an email. So, I love you all so much. Have a blessed and beautiful night. I thank you for all of your support and your beautiful comments. And I will get to them when I can. I've got lots of things I've got to do over here and study. So that when I harvest soon, I can do the things that I need to do to help everybody else. And myself. Keep the flow going. I don't flow very well with fear. It literally gives me heart palpitations. And I definitely don't want any of that nonsense at night shenanigans. No wonder people can't sleep. I couldn't either until I let all that stuff go. So, I love you all so very much. Keep shining, superstars.
I said a prayer for you today, and I know God must have heard. I left the answer in my heart, although she spoke no word. I didn't ask for wealth or fame, and I knew you wouldn't mind. I picked, I asked her to send treasures of a far more lasting kind. What did I say? I ask that she be near you at the start of each new day to grant you health and blessings and friends to share your way. I ask for happiness for you in all the things small and all his loving care I prayed for most of all. Don't quit. My mama got me that one day. This is me, that song Kesha. The greatest showman. Out of the same mouth come praise and cursing. My brothers and sisters. This should not be. Read the book of James. The tongue. Is the most powerful weapon. And yes... We can control it. My child intimidates me, dares me, seeking reactions. Don't feed them. Don't take the bait. Stop listening to all that stuff. That's your choice. We never die. Do you understand me?